story map is a great way to tell stories in which uh, location is a key component of the narrative. Um, and again, to create this, it's really simple. Uh, you come to storymap.nightlab.com, you click make, make a story map now. In this case, you don't go to a spreadsheet, you go to a custom authoring tool. And so I've sort of got this one already, already baked in there. So I'm going to imagine that I, as a journalist, am telling this story about the Olympic torch. So, it, you know, before every um, Olympic Games, there's this, you know, the torch travels around the host country. So in this instance, we're going to recount the history of the torch as it traveled through Russia in advance of the Russian Games. Uh, so you can see here, um, we've got a place for a piece of media on the left. And if we look at what that is, um, it's just the Sochi logo. So we've gotten that from the web. Uh, it's again, it's just a, a publicly hosted um, image on the web. And that can be in a Google Drive, in a Dropbox, or on your own website. Uh, we put that in here and we say so Sochi Olympic Torch Relay. So we, we can do this really easy. And we say what we're going to tell people about, about this thing. So here we've got the Sochi 2014 Olympic torch relay that marks the longest relay in Winter Olympics history, on and on, some background on this um, torch's journey around the country. We come over here to click and click Add Slide. In this instance, I've already done it, but we'd add this slide. You can see here that we can we put in a, a new address or a new location really easily. So we'll just go Kremlin. Moscow, Russia, and it puts a, a pin right down there for us. We've got another um, piece of media that we've put it in there, and all we need is the URL. We don't need to do anything special to it. We're going to say the kickoff's in Moscow, Russia. And we've got another little bit of description here. So we're pretty good with this one. Here I've got a preview of, of what we're going to see. As I click through, it takes us to Russia. So you see we've got the kickoff in Moscow, which is what we just entered in. And then we go over to the Kironian Spit. Here we've got a YouTube video. And if I click play, that'll play right in the browser. And that's the same for your readers too once this gets on your website. So again, this is a really great thing to have. It's, it's cool to have built it, but what you really want to do is get it onto your website. It's published to your own website. So you come over here, you click the share button. Um, here I'm getting a warning. You have unpublished changes. Do you want to publish those changes? Yes. So it'll save that for me. This will give me a link to sort of a, a standalone um, story map that you can link to from your own website. Or you can get this iframe, which is easily embeddable in almost any CMS. Uh, so you, again, you just copy and paste this into the HTML view of your standard storytelling CMS. One of the best examples of story map in, in, um, in use comes from Al Jazeera America. They used to tell the story of the missing Malaysia Airlines flight back in 2014. Uh, and you can see here sort of the standard um, instance of story map. So we've got a preview of a map on the left, uh, a piece of media on the right, uh, beneath which there's some uh, a headline and some body copy. Uh, and the purpose here, again, is to tell a story in which location is a key component of the narrative. This is a great example because to me, uh, this was a really compelling story, but all the different aspects of the story were hard to keep track of. So I sort of know this region of the world geographically, but it's not my backyard, so I, I could use a, definitely a little reminder as a reader. Um, and then on top of that, being this unfamiliar geography, it was difficult for me as a reader to keep track of all these time components. Uh, if you remember this story, a lot of stuff happened all at different times, and, and the time seemed to be really relevant to the story. So as I click through the story, I can see that the flight took off at 12.41 a.m. And as I click through, I see that 1.07 a.m., uh, the, the aircraft sent its final ACAR transmission. At 1.19, there was a final verbal message from the crew. At 1.21, the transponder was turned off. Uh, the Thai military had a radar check on it at 1.28, on and on and on. All of these sort of key elements or key moments in the story of this flight. 